Welcome to Culinary Undertaking. I'm TJ. Thanks for watching. I sure appreciate it. Today I'm going to be making some mashed sweet potatoes. So I've got a bunch of sweet potatoes here and it's just a little something different to do. I mean how often do you see sweet potatoes when you go to a restaurant or if you go to somebody's house or even when you're making dinner and how do most of the times are they prepared? Now, there's a few steakhouses out there that you go to and you might see a baked sweet potato with that cinnamony butter they put on it for you. Um, you know, around Thanksgiving time, you'll see people take sweet potatoes and make some sort of, you know, sweet potato casserole or something like that. And even then, they're usually using the canned sweet potatoes. So, these are real easy to do. Basically, if you know how to make mashed potatoes, we're going to do essentially the same thing. We're just going to use sweet potatoes. And they're really good. If you've never had mashed sweet potatoes, they're really good. And they go with just about anything. You can serve them, obviously, you can serve them with Thanksgiving, you know, next to some turkey, they're going to be good. You can serve it next to a steak. You can serve it next to some pork chops, whatever you want. They're really good. You don't have to put a bunch of cinnamon and, um, you know, marshmallows and all that kind of stuff. We're going to leave all that stuff out and just let the sweet potatoes be sweet potatoes. We are going to add a little cream cheese, a little bit of milk and some butter to it during the, when we mash them up after they're cooked, but you do that with any mashed potato. So that's what we're going to do, and they're real simple. So let me show you how I do it. All right, and for this recipe, we're going to need some sweet potatoes. I've got five good-sized ones here. They're probably, I don't know, that might be like two or three pounds of them. I didn't really weigh them. I just grabbed some good ones. You're going to need a vegetable peeler, a knife, and you, it's up to you. You have a choice. You can either boil these like you do a regular mashed potato, or, like I'm going to show you, I'm going to steam these mashed potatoes. So, I've got my pot there. I've got my steaming insert. I've got some water under there. So, rather than boil them, we're just going to steam them. Now, when it comes to picking a sweet potato, it all depends what I'm using it for. If I'm going to bake a sweet potato, you know, one of the shorter, kind of little chubbier ones, those work pretty well for, for baking. Um, this is also going to work for what we're going to do. Pref uh, preferably, if I'm if I know I'm going to be peeling them, I like to get these ones that are kind of you know long and straight, and that way I've got plenty of surface to hold on to as I'm peeling them, rather than some of the short ones that are you know sometimes they're more round than this, and you're trying to hold on to like a, a slippery baseball when you're trying to peel it. And some of these, when you start get some of the ones that are long, you got to watch because I mean some of them are really crooked and jaggedy and whatever. So I try to find the straightest one I can find to make the peeling the easiest. So, this is real easy. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our peeler. We're gonna peel the skin off like that. Then at this point, once it's peeled, you just wanna cut it into equal size chunks. It doesn't really matter how big or how small. I like to make mine a little more on the smaller side. That way they steam a little better. Or if you're gonna boil them, you know, they'll boil a little better rather than having great big chunks that are gonna take a while. And usually I just kinda find a good halfway spot here. And then I'll take this half and kind of make it into roughly thirds. And then from there, I'll just cut it into rough cubes about that size, like that. And then into my steamer. And like I say, the size doesn't matter necessarily as long as they're all about the same. That way they all cook at the same time or in the same rate. And that's it, nothing too complicated. So let me get the rest of these peeled and cut up and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so after I got all those potatoes peeled and put them in our pot there. Now one thing, I didn't use all the potatoes. I mean, I filled the pot that far, I still had one left. So that's where we're at on that. Now nothing's been done to this. There's just a little water in the bottom for the steaming. So we're gonna turn the oven on and I don't need it all the way full blast. This will start boiling a little bit of water pretty here like a medium, medium high there, it'll start to boil. 
but there's no salt there's nothing in here this is just potatoes in a pot at this point if we were boiling them that'd be different because i'd have some salt in the in the water to help it boil so there'd be some salt in there that way but this way it's just pure potatoes in the water and then we're gonna put our lid on there to hold the steam in and this is going to take once you start noticing you know puffs of steam coming out around there this is going to take a good 20 or 30 minutes so don't get too excited don't rush it let it go but just like boiling if we were going to boil these we're just looking for these to be tender you know we'll stick a fork or a knife into it and when they get nice and tender that's when we know we'll take them out and that's when we'll be able to start mashing them up so i'm going to let this go and when they're done i'll bring you back all right it's been a half hour since I last saw you guys when I turned the burner on and I just checked our potatoes and they're done. So I can film and do this without burning my skin off. So as you can see, nice and tender, really soft, but they're not mushy. Perfect. So at this point, I'm going to give that a second just to sort of settle down so I can get near it. And then once I do, I'm going to transfer those into a bowl and we'll get to mashing. All right, so now we've got all our potatoes in a bowl. And to that, I'm going to have a little, I'm going to put a little half and half in there. You can use cream, you could use regular milk, whatever you have on hand. And we'll start off with, eh, about that much, that was probably three teaspoons or three tablespoons or so and also don't forget we haven't done any seasoning or anything yet so I'm also going to hit it with some pepper if my daughter sees this she won't eat it but I won't tell if you don't hit it with a few pinches of salt like that Then I've got a stick of butter and I've got one package of cream cheese here. These are both room temperature. They've been out for a while. So I'll stick those in there. And now comes the fun part. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could stop. I mean, maybe give this a little bit more, but essentially we've got mashed sweet potatoes and they're really really good but i'm going to give it one more step here now obviously this step is optional if you don't want to do it don't do it but i kind of like it i like to give my mashed potatoes whether they're regular or whether they're the sweet potatoes i like to give them a little bit of whipping up in my mixer here And there you go. I let that run for about one minute or so. And you can see they're nice and smooth now. And there you have it, mashed sweet potatoes. If you've never had them, give them a try. They really are good. I make these a lot because the wife and I often try to watch our carbs. Sometimes she's a little more strict about it, but I know these aren't carb free, but they're much better than having regular potatoes and they're good. They're easy, you prep them the same way as a regular mashed potato. You can steam them, you can boil them, whatever works for you. I do it about 50-50, just depends on the mood I'm in. And then when you're done, oh, man, that's good. I could just eat a bowl of that, sometimes I do. But there's no need for the marshmallows and the brown sugar and the cinnamon and all the other Horrible stuff people like to put on sweet potatoes. Mashed sweet potatoes, they're versatile, they go with a lot of stuff, they're not hard to do. Give it a try, you'll like it. If you do try it, or if you've ever had them, put down in the comments, let me know, let me know what you think of them. And in the meantime, thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.